Things like whales washed ashore and plastic pollution have long disturbed this fifth grader, especially when he looked in the trash cans at lunchtime. He thought, what if thousands, even millions of plastic forks, knives and spoons used in schools could be replaced with old-fashioned cutlery? A ton of it was just plastic utensils. And I was like, this isn't right. So what did you do? Uh, I first talked to my principal and my science teacher. He teamed up with the PTA president who oversees the lunch program. He really just was so passionate and um, gave such a compelling argument for why we needed to make this change for our school and for our environment that it was hard to say no. I've had to write uh, type so many emails. A year later, 11 year old Julian Jackal's simple idea turned into reality here at Burton Valley Elementary School in Lafayette. We looked at compostables and it was cost prohibitive. Uh, we ended up pricing out the metal utensils and we learned that in the long run it was actually a cost savings. Their school lunch provider agreed to make the switch and the school installed a new sink for washing the silverware daily in the cafeteria. If this one school can save 50,000 plastic utensils a year from going into a landfill, imagine if this idea spread to other schools. Already Wagner Ranch in Orinda is on board. What are your hopes for the future? I am hoping that we can at least get district-wide, but it would be amazing if I could go statewide with this. This is just the start. I mean, there are so many schools that could make this change, and honestly, it was much more simple than I even thought. I feel really proud of myself for doing this, if I may say so myself. Making a difference can start in your own backyard or school.